Hi, we're Sophie and Joe, and we love food. So much so that we decided to create an Instagram dedicated to it late last year. We're by no means a big account, and at the time of recording, we have 3,380 Instagram followers, 14,000 TikTok followers, and 400 on YouTube. Please help us grow by liking this video, commenting, and following us. Thank you. But we have been invited to a few places already, so we thought it would be good to take you along with us to the restaurants, delis and bars that we visited as food Instagrammers over a week period. So be prepared to get hungry. Okay, so first disclaimer, the first place we visited was not in London, it was in Worthing, a seaside town next to Brighton. But we will travel for food. And also, as the restaurant was dog friendly, we wanted to take our new pup Alfonso to the seaside for the very first time. We were invited to the opening of the new Boston Tea Party, which is a family owned independent cafe chain serving all day breakfast. We love breakfast food, so we were so excited for this. Uh, Joe tried the full English, which he said was amazing, and I went for the Eggs Royale on sourdough, with avocado on the side, of course. It was a really great way to kick off the day, and as the restaurant was right next to the main promenade, we had a stroll on the beach after. For our next day out, we managed to combine a few of our other invites into a single day. So we headed into London with empty bellies for a full day of eating. We headed to Islington first for our first invite of the day. It's such a lovely area. The Georgian houses are so beautiful and it's just got such a nice, peaceful neighbourhood feel to it. Uh, we were here though for what we now tell people is the best sandwich in London. In this little family owned deli, you'll find this incredible creation. The Johnny Schnitzel. Just look at that beauty, oh my gosh. It was so good. Honestly, I don't even like sandwiches that much and I've reduced my meat intake. So I wasn't sure going into this, but I ate it all up. It was that good. The meat was so tender and the layers just had the perfect amount of moisture. It wasn't messy. It was just perfect. The bread was perfect. Um, would definitely recommend this spot if you're ever around. Afterwards, we made the short walk to the Tube, stopping along the way to watch a wedding party depart the church in double-decker buses. Our next stop was close to Oxford Circus, where an Extinction Rebellion protest was taking place all along Regent Street. We came here for our first ever bubble tea. We've seen the alley all over Instagram and it's supposed to be one of the best in London for bubble teas. So we were super excited to try it out finally. We were invited along to try out their new Ube series and any other drink of our choice. So we tried the Ube brown sugar creme brulee and a mango lulu with coconut milk. The creme brulee drink was really rich, sweet and creamy and tasted just like the dessert, which I loved, but I have a massive sweet tooth and even for me it was a bit too much and I couldn't drink it all. But we both absolutely loved the mango lulu. It was so refreshing and I've been craving it ever since, so we'll definitely be back to try that one again. The place is small but super popular, so be prepared to queue, though it's worth it even if just for the photos, they're so pretty and Instagrammable. We couldn't stay too long as we had a jam-packed schedule and had another invite to get to, so we headed back to Oxford Circus to jump back on the tube.
Our next in-flight was again for drinks, but this one was in a pretty special location. We were invited to the reopening of CSC's Iris Bar, located at the very top of this iconic London landmark, the Gherkin. It's a corporate building, so the entrance is what you expect from an office reception, with the addition of security checks. But when you've come out the lift at the top, it feels much more special. The first level is Helix, the restaurant. But if you go up the stairs, you'll then come out at the very top, at the Iris Bar. As an event manager, I've been fortunate enough to come here a few times before, but it feels so special to be invited as a guest, so we're so grateful. We tried a few different cocktails with some bar snacks, and it was the perfect accompaniment to the fuse. This bar is like no other in London. It has 360 degrees views and even the sky above. If you're looking for somewhere to go in London for a special night, like a date night or any other special occasion, then we would strongly recommend this place. It is on the spenny side, it's probably about £20 per cocktail, but you get what you pay for. For dinner, we headed to Camden to try out Neat Burger, a plant-based fast food chain. I like that you can order your food yourself on one of the tablets they have. Uh, their menu is really extensive and you're likely to find a similar version of your favourite burger of another fast food chain in the menu. We also really love their choice of drinks. They have fizzy drinks with less sugar as well as CBD infused drinks, cocktails and milkshakes. For food, we tried the Big Stack and the Smoke Stack burgers with some normal fries and some sweet potato fries. We thought both burgers were really good, though pretty messy to eat, so you'll need lots of napkins. But the Big Stack was our favourite as it tasted just like a McDonald's Big Mac. So on to our new day and our final in-fight. This was a really good one as well. It was an in-fight to Yumsar in Putney for their bottomless brunch. Yumsar is a modern Thai restaurant and on weekends they do an epic seven course bottomless brunch which you can either have with house wine, Bloody Marys or Ferf Pico champagne. We of course opted for the latter. This was actually a food blogger event um, the restaurant had put on so there was lots of other London and South East food Instagrammers and TikTokers um, as well as a DJ and photographers and videographers so it was lots of fun especially as the weather was really, really nice that day, so we could sit out on the terrace and feel like we were on holiday. We really enjoyed the food, though it did take a while for our food to come, I think just because it was such a big event. And also, again, because it's a big event, we didn't actually get much um, substance in the curry so there's a lot of sauce and not much veggies or potatoes or whatever 
We tried the veggie plates this time, so had a green veggie curry, fried seasonal greens, tofu pad thai, red tofu curry, yellow potato curry and jasmine rice. There was also dessert, which was banana fritter and coconut ice cream. Overall, it was such a great event. And just sitting out in the sun, having your glass constantly topped up with champagne, just enjoying it all. So we were pretty tipsy afterwards and I just headed home. This definitely isn't a usual week for us. It just so happened that we had a few in-flights all at once. But let us know if you enjoyed this kind of video. If you like videos on London, Kent, food and travel, then make sure to subscribe. See you next time.